always seem to start my videos driving in the car. Basically, it's spring break. You know what that means? Bar, club, another club, bus, another club, Jake Weber, Anya Taylor Joy, Anya Umanzor. No, no! <laughs> That's what it means. Oh my god. Spring break started two days ago. Worst two days of spring break that could ever happen. Like I was just doing a lot of child labor. I was working with my dad. But now I am gonna go to Jewel Osco because I have a bunch of coins. I'm gonna put them in that like coin machine or whatever to get my money up and not my funny up. My mom says there's guaranteed $20. I honestly have no clue. I don't know how to guess that. Also this weather I kind of love. It's kind of moist and damp and like warm and I, I actually love that kind of weather. Last spring break was not fun. I honestly went into a little bit of a depressive episode because I just didn't do anything. Like I was just in my bed all day and now I don't wanna make that same mistake. We're gonna do better. We're gonna live better and we're gonna eat better. Oh my God, I missed my stop. I missed my exit. My wallet is really chunky. I don't like how chunky it is and I don't know where to put it because I don't want to put it in my pocket and have like it bulging out of my pocket. I'm putting it in my back pocket but now I can't sit on it. So like what? what's happening. I feel like I need a chunky wallet because I have a lot of ones in here because I'm rich. Genuinely, my favorite thing while driving are protected greens. Protected greens make me feel safe. They make me feel at peace. They make me feel welcome. They make me feel more than a human being. I went to bed at 4 a.m. last night. Probably the worst decision of my life because I wanted to start this video earlier. I wanted to start this like at like eight the latest, but I went to bed at four. So that really didn't make any sense. Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, so about to get my driver's license revoked. I don't know where the hell I'm going. This is actually humiliating, guys. You are seeing me in this vulnerable state. I'm in the back rooms. That's where I am. I'm in the back rooms. Woo! Okay, this is a taking a little longer, but see, like, I'm very patient. I'm a very patient person, especially when it comes to driving, because I would rather take 30 extra more minutes to get to my destination than like freak out over like over crashing like I don't want to freak out over that I want to you know go the easy nice way like this shouldn't be this hard like genuinely I could have gone there but I I'm just scared I'm scared Ugh. I can feel you guys judging me through the screen like I'm just trying to live my life wait guys am I bad at driving be honest <laughs> I'm starving. So someone riddled to me why my thing keeps shutting off when I'm recording, guys. Is it because I don't have storage? Like, be honest with me, please. But basically, so now I'm recording in my front camera so that I can make sure that I'm not talking to nobody. Which I am, but like, you, you get what I mean. I went to Julasco, right? I got back inside the car and I got $49. $49. My mom thought it was 20. I thought it was honestly going to be less than 20, but it was $49. Here's all my money. Oh, here's all my money. Do you see it? Can you smell it too? That's the smell of greatness, success. This is probably the worst angle ever. <laughs> Sometimes I go to Chick-fil-A a little too often where I'm like kind of embarrassed and I feel like they're like, you need a chill pill. But then I remember that they literally work here and they probably eat this every day when they work. Like it's free. Guys, I think life is going to be okay. I just got my food. Booyah, booyah. First bite. <laughs> Must be the money. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. He parked right next to me. Like, die? Die challenge? It is kind of embarrassing eating alone in a car. I've just not realized, but... What are you gonna do? Why did he do that? Oh, because they were trying to have... They were trying to have intercourse. Right there. Okay, what the hell is this? I'm just eating chicken. They didn't even give me, like, lettuce or anything. Flop! Ah! Oh! It's hot! Did they give me a spicy one? Wait, because you guys are not about to play playing me like that. Anyways, all I wanted to say right now was the fact that Monsters, Inc. is one of the saddest movies ever. And I told my friend that I cried while watching it. And she was like, what? Why are you crying? It's sad. Like, you have no heart if you're not crying. Boo is literally terrified when he sees Sully scream. And I wasn't, I wasn't sad because Boo was scared. I was sad because, like, Dolly was, like, contemplating his life and, like, 
thinking like, oh my God, I'm actually a monster. Like people are actually scared of me. Like, what am I doing? Like that was the thing that I was like tripped up on and like I started crying. And then it was the part where Sully like realized that he couldn't see Boo again. And that made me really sad, but we didn't finish it. Anyways, I just wanted to say that. Oh my God, group of teenagers. Can I join you guys or no? Can you accept me? Also, a thing that I really hate is not being photogenic. That's like terrifying. That's my biggest fear. Because there's this really pretty girl in my school, in my class, and I look at her and she's so like pretty, like she's a good looking girl. And then I look at her Instagram and I almost got jump scared. Like it was actually kind of terrifying because I was like, what? Like this cannot be the same person that I'm seeing in my history class. And now I'm kind of scared that like people probably think I'm really ugly. And then they look at my Instagram and they're like, wait, you're actually kind of like beautiful and like gorgeous and ethereal. Why are you only ethereal on Instagram and not in person? Anywho, that's my epiphany. We're gonna go to Chase Bank now. Yay! I love money, I love money, give me money. Also guys, sorry, in every single video, you always see this, this, whatever's going on here, this dirty thing. Um, I don't wanna tell you what it is because I know what it is, but I'm kind of embarrassed. Anyways, just know that I'm gonna clean it today and so you will no longer see that. Oh wow, and the police is here. So I don't like that at all. Not going this way. Why is the police there? Oh, I don't mess with police. I don't mess with that vibe. I just saw this TikTok of this girl being wrongfully arrested, and it really like made me angry because this girl basically, her, I honestly don't know what happened, but you could tell that she was telling the truth, and the cops were just totally uninterested in what she had to say like they already made up their minds that she was wrong even though she clearly one million percent was not wrong they still arrested her and they still didn't listen to her when she had the proof she had the receipts she was literally they arrested her for like harming someone i forget what it's called like battery i'm pretty sure that's what it was like she they arrested her for battery but she was the one with the wound she was the one that got hit in the face and was visibly hurt and she told the cops that she tried to like swing back to defend herself but she didn't make contact she didn't hit the girl and yet she was arrested like that's so stupid it pisses me off oh my goodness there should be more regulations and more like laws to being like a police officer because that really hurts me. Like you have to actually like want justice and not like just do your job and like get it over with and like do the bare minimum. Like annoying, like she was told, you could see it. Like you could just tell like any sane, smart person would know that she was right and she wasn't the one in the wrong. But these cops pissed me off and now I hate cops. Guys, I don't know why I'm sticky and it's freaking me out. Guys, I'm gonna freak out first. The cops were at the Chase Bank that I was going to go to originally. And I say, no, I'm gonna go to a different Chase. Then I go and then there's a train. And so it takes like so long for the train to like finish and I could go. And then I get a little bit close to my Chase Bank. I'm like, okay, we're doing good, like whatever. And then I have to do a detour. Like the whole road is closed. And so I can't even go to my Chase Bank that I wanted to go to. Oh my God, I'm gonna get angry. So we're gonna try one more time, and if there is one more thing that is preventing me from going to the bank, this is done. That's it, bye. We made it to our destination, everybody. We're not gonna put the ones in because I don't want to. Sorry guys, leave me alone. Wow, that was like really, that was really difficult for me for some reason, like I feel drained. <laughs> Because like it wasn't listening to me guys. It was really making me angry. <laughs> guys, this is supposed to be a good day. I don't know why I'm in a bad mood. Because of that stupid like, oh, it took so long to get to Chase Bank. It's gonna take that long to get to Chase Bank. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Anywho, I'm going home. I'm going home. I might go to Target later, but as of right. There's a train. There's a freight train. Here's my outfit that I said I would show. Can you see it all? These I got from Depop, this I got from TikTok show. And then I got my Doc Martens and my jewelry. Guys, I'm kind of tired and I kind of want to go to bed, but I don't want to waste my day. The case, if you like it, it's from Depop as well. Okay guys, I'm doing my art. Let me show you what I'm working on right now. Oh! I just love the colors. The colors are so beautiful. I'm just gonna have to finish it and 
It's gonna take me a while. Definitely don't expect to finish it today because I also want to take a break on this and then work on the paintings over there because I have to finish it by April and it is March 25th. So I need to finish that because my friend's mom, it's for my friend's mom. I already told you guys this like a long time ago and it's been like five months since she's asked, asked for it. So I have to really just like, I have to have a deadline or else I will never like finish it. So that's my deadline. This is what it's looking like. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna take a break on it right now because I'm gonna move on to that painting. And we're gonna just be a little artist because I have the artist eye and I'm ready. Let's change into some clothes I'm okay with ruining, okay? And this is gonna be a transition. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna do another outfit change because I am incredibly uncomfortable. These are unzipped and everything because they are the smallest pants I think I've ever worn, or I mean shorts. So, outfit transition, let's go. Much better. Guys, my back's hurting so badly and I think it's because I did a backflip. Kinda scared that I broke my back. I'm trying to be relaxed now, I'm trying to, you know, cool down. A good way to do that is a face mask. I haven't done a face mask. I don't even know if I've ever done a face mask. You just unfold it, smooth over the face, and leave it for five minutes, and then remove the mask. So this is very easy. I'm gonna wash my hands because I still have like paint on my hands. So yeah, let's go. I don't know why I decided to make this like a whole studio setup. I have one light here, one light there, one light there. So this better be the most beautiful, spectacular lighting you've ever seen. Let's get into this mask by Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees actually noticed me two times on my TikTok. I said that my favorite brand of chapstick was Burt's Bees and they were like, thank you so much for supporting. By the way, it's lip balm. I almost, in that second, I almost stopped supporting because why did you correct me? Okay, it's gooey ooey. I don't know why, but I was not expecting it to be like this. Is there like a right or wrong way? I'm kind of scared. I feel like it's about to like take my soul. Oh, I should probably move my hair. The only way I could think of was using a tie. Oh. I'm stuck in a balloon. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what, this feels nice. Would I do it again? Mm, probably not. I don't even know how I got this. I'm pretty sure my mom just put it in my room. I came back from work one day and I just saw it. I was like, wait, I should do this. And this is it. I don't know if it's been five minutes yet, but like the more moisture, the better, you know, like, right? I don't think it would be bad if I did more. This is very uncomfortable. Okay, it's been long enough. Let's see if I look like a whole new person. What happened to my face? My eye. Okay, let me tell. Do I look better? Do I look hydrated? Do I look replenished? Smell test. Just thinking about milk is not good for you. Don't think about it. When you eat it, don't think about it because that ain't gonna do you no good. And I was outside walking my dog and I saw the trees and I, I had this, this revelation. You look at the trees and you see all the trees, there's a limit. Like all the trees are the same height. Like the tallest trees are all the same height, but there's trees at the bottom that are different heights. Like there's ones that are smaller, but there's like a, a plateau. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm getting angry. I have lost all knowledge and vocabulary skills. Oh yeah, and I mix in some beautiful off-brand cinnamon toast crunch because there's not enough Lucky Charms in here. Yeah. Cereal is just as good as a late night snack as it is a breakfast cereal. Que pasa contigo? Dime. I already took you out.
Well, what else do you need? If you're a pregnant woman, this could be your new pregnancy craving.